it was the towards the beginning of January when I saw somebody post draw the circle and I was drawn to it instantly heard in my heart that God said do this and so I ordered it and went ordered it for both my daughters Jennifer and Stephanie and had no clue what God was going to do through this My first time around took seven minutes. I was like, well, that didn't take very long. And my second time around, I counted my steps and it was like a thousand steps. Like, okay. Third time around was when life transformation happened in my heart. And God started just making me notice certain things. I noticed the trash around the building and, and on the grounds and in the parking lot. So I started picking up trash. And well, I didn't want to start picking up trash because I first just told God, I don't have a trash bag. And he made me remember the grocery bag. I went, oh, but I want to use up my 10 cent grocery bag. And it was like, you could actually see God go, really, really? And so I went and got my grocery bag. Well, I didn't even cover the very first little part of the top of the parking lot and it was full. And I said, well, I can't do any more. Use up my bag. I'm not going to use any more. And, and right before my eyes in the tree in front of me was a brand new 50 gallon trash bag. 50 gallon garden trash bag and I went and it just broke me in that moment because I said God you're doing something here that was a miracle for me my personal miracle I grabbed the bag and it was brand new how was it there in those trees and by the time I got all the way over to kitchen on that top of the parking lot that 50 gallon bag was full and it was so impressive in my heart because as I started picking up trash so the first condom I picked up God broke my heart for the people that are being used in trafficking, sex trafficking and pornography and the people that are that are chained chained to that. And then the first empty beer bottle or whiskey bottle that I picked up. Then I started praying for people that are that are chained to alcoholism and the all the bags of cannabis that were up there, empty bags of cannabis, free this property from being even used for drug use. And, and, the, and it gave me a heart for the community. It gave me a heart for the church, that people that are bound to things, that they would be drawn and they would be broken from these things and find new experiences, find the true living water that fills them up that will, they will never thirst from. That was only day one for me. I asked Stephanie to start joining me if she wanted to, and she goes, oh yeah, she was all on board, and so Ryder comes with us. We've been circling this church for the last 40 days. If I'm at work, she's circling it where a day has not gone uncovered, where we have not walked around this church. So our first time around, usually we're silent, and we just listen, and we ask the Lord to speak to our hearts. Second time around, then we begin to um, pray and speak out blessings and ask for Him to just pray through us and work through us as we speak out these things over the church and over the community. And then our third time around, we actually have trash bags and we're picking up trash. And um, the upper parking lot or uh, the area where the weeds are, they sort of like got our attention, became that first class noticers for the weeds. And so we ended up breaking down, uh, bringing hula hose and starting to weed. And it was exciting. I, I love tumbleweeds. I don't know why. I guess growing up in Mexico did that for me, but I love knocking them down. And so that's been exciting to be able to be, begin to see those tumbleweeds come down and praying and envisioning. I'm envisioning either a park or flowers, something that will draw attention. I read a statement that moved my heart. Six powerful words. The local church is worth it. I'm gonna say it again. The local church is worth it. And it spoke volumes to me. In the depths of my heart, that as we enter into these 40 days of prayer challenge, as we draw the circle, as we pray the circle, as we walk the circle, for this church, in front of us to this local church that we are called to, that we will see a new chapter and movement of God unlike anything we have seen yet. The next big thing is here. It's always been here. It's our church.